What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be going over the simple steps that you will need to follow in order to start tethering at your next shoot. My name is Brent and welcome back to the channel. Let's hop right into this content. Let's first start off with the gear that I will be using for this particular demonstration. For my camera, I will be using the Sony a7 IV. I will have a tether tools tether cable that I will use to connect my camera to my computer. I will also be tethering to a MacBook Pro and the software that I will be using will be Capture One. The first thing to note is that you are going to want to make sure that you purchase the proper tether cord. For me, that is a USB-C to USB-C because the a7 IV takes a USB-C and then so too does my MacBook. But there are different tethering cords for different computer and camera configurations. To begin this process, you're going to want to make sure that your PC remote function on your camera is enabled. This is going to allow your camera to show its feed onto the tether cable once you use that cord to hook it up to your laptop. You will then start up your tethering program, which in my case is Capture One. And for those of you that do not want to go out and purchase a whole new program, you can also tether to Lightroom. It's just a little bit slower and Capture One, I prefer the way that the images render in that program, but you can use Lightroom. Now you're gonna to wanna to plug your tether cord both into your camera and into your computer. Please note that I like to do this when the camera is off. That way when I turn the camera on, I can get the process started. When you turn your camera on, one of two things is gonna happen. You're either gonna be prompted to select that you want to actually tether, or the tether is automatically going to connect for you. The way you're gonna check this is by going into Capture One, clicking on the tether icon, and when you click on that icon, you should be able to see your camera's name and your camera settings, and that will let you know that your camera and your laptop are synced up and ready for you to tether. Once this process is complete, you're good to start shooting. You can literally pull your camera out and start snapping away right now and seeing images pop up on your computer. One thing that I would like to note, however, I prefer to tether raw photos to my computer as opposed to JPEGs. The reason for this is because in the past, when I used to tether JPEGs, yes, they do come up a little bit faster, but I noticed that my white balance would shift a little bit. And when I would get home and look at my raw photos, they would have a completely different tint from what I saw on set. And the adjustments that I was making on set did not correlate to what I was seeing when I got home. So henceforth why I prefer to tether raws to my computer. I hope this video was nice and quick, nice and dirty, and really got you started and got you motivated to want to tether. Tethering is one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life, especially when you go from just having fun to being on set with a client. It makes things a whole lot easier. I come from the world of video where we constantly had a director's monitor right there for our clients to be able to see what we are doing, and that transparency goes a very long way. Let's keep on this journey to getting everything right in camera. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.